Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Bucket Counter. It's your boy Mo, and if you haven't already done so, you know the drill. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments of any kind of content you want to see going forward. And most importantly, don't forget to turn on notification bells to get notified when I drop new videos. So today's topic um, kind of veers a little bit off from what I usually talk about, but still relates. Um, and since I've been talking about diversity more recently, I want to talk a little bit about um, ethnic family shows. And when I say ethnic family shows, I'm talking about shows like Blackish, Black AF, um, Rami, Fresh Off the Boat, shows like that where it's centered around like a family of color of some sort. Um, and how these shows don't actually portray the dynamic of these families and, and what really makes us unique or differentiates us from regular American culture. It seems that a lot of times when these shows either have a really good idea or come off with a really good start, they tend to devolve into a whitewashed version of, of, of what it's supposed to be. Um, and what I mean by that is kind of like changing the direction of the show to be for like more absorbable by a white audience. Um, and also let me give this quick disclaimer too. This isn't to discredit or to, um, or to bash or to spread hate towards um, people of different ethnicities, especially particularly white people. It's more to talk about the, the lack of real representation when it comes to telling people stories, telling people's narratives. Um, because like, let's say if I wanted to see a story about a Sudanese family, I wouldn't want to see what I've already been seeing a bunch on TV, like something like Modern Family, or something like um, like Friends or something like any of those types of shows where it's not really like, it's a Amer very American dynamic, but it's not American from an immigrant perspective. Like when you deal with people, especially parents that have immigrated over, it's completely different than parents approaches uh, the people kind of the, that were born and raised here. Like I was born and raised in America, but neither of my parents were. And that's definitely a very different thing because they taught me and brought me up through Sudanese culture, um, or at least whatever of that culture they can carry over from two people, since you're not really within that community or in that environment as much. And that's what I'm feeling that is really underrepresented and actually lacking from a lot of these shows. Um, and I remember reading an article a few days ago about um, the actual creator, like the inspiration behind Fresh Off the Boat and how he walked away from the show because of what they did with it. They ended up kind of um, low-key neutering the dad and then exoticizing the mom and sort of making it this everyday family type of story where um, they took away the elements of the things that actually influence you growing up. like the type of food that you eat and how that kind of affects the way you are you interact at school. You know, when you have very ethnic food, sometimes they smell very pungent. Sometimes that causes bullying. Sometimes it causes certain um, reactions. The, the cultural norms, the cultural standards that your parents enforce at home, those are missing from these types of shows because they kind of choose to take out what differentiates us and makes us unique and focus on what makes us similar, what makes us the same. But in reality, in doing so, it takes away that entire purpose of diversity and the entire um, background of what it means to be cultural, what it means to be ethnic. You feel me? And I think that's what real diversity is, is figuring out what makes us different and unique and how does that add to this bigger piece of the puzzle. And that's what America is, a melting pot of, of different cultures. So if we can see like, hey, this person's culture is interesting because they did this and this and that, and I can see why they think and act the way that they do now. You know, adding this type of actual diversity is probably more helpful than focusing and watering things down to be more palpable for other people. Um, and that's not to say that these things should be taken into like the most real form or should be um, extremely hyper-focused on just the cultural aspect of things. But I think when you showcase what makes people different and what makes people really stand out, that that's what makes a show memorable. That's what makes somebody look at it and think, hey, I can actually relate to this show. I can actually relate to this because these are, these are the things that I grew up with. This is what I'm seeing at home, right? And 
honestly, I, I if I was really into film and I was somebody that was pursuing that, I think that's kind of how I would tackle it or try to do that. Usually, I think a lot of times these ideas do get picked up and that is the intention behind it. And it's usually a very well written story. But then when it comes to production time, it's usually like the, the production crew and the actual um, film company that decides like, hey, what do we want to cut? What do we want to keep and how do we want to shape this? So I would really encourage people that are ethnic and they do want to tell their stories that that already kind of make short films and things along those lines, like maybe do more stuff like that. You know, these are things that are really sorely lacking. And if people start to see interest in it, maybe it'll actually take off. Maybe these are things that get picked up. And I think it's always step one within anything is to really bring awareness to that subject. But honestly, after you brought awareness, how do you kind of contribute to to the change how do you come become part of the solution how do you become part of the solutioning process um and that's something that i find interesting to me so for me it's kind of just talking about it because um my platform is literally youtube so um <laughs> talking about a subject to kind of get some people's brains turning about it and if you're into movies or if you know somebody that is or is doing that kind of stuff like talk to them about it share that kind of um opinion like hey what if you create a short film about um an egyptian family and i know like there's shows like rami and i had mentioned that as one of the earlier examples of like ethnic not done very well it's done well to an extent of it shows the flaws of um muslims in america and that's a show that's that is supposed to be that um and just navigating your religiosity um, with different expectations from um, your your school peers, and I'm calling them American, we're all American, but more so to just talk about the difference in culture, right? So your American friends and your American societal expectations versus the cultural norms that your parents teach you and expect you to retain and maintain. So like navigating the two of those things is a little bit difficult. So I think the show does a decent enough example, but also is not encapsulating enough of of what it truly means to be muslim in america because it focuses on um quote unquote bad muslims as in muslims that, that um that really struggle with practicing and retaining their religion versus it doesn't show like everyday muslims who are like either moderately practicing or strictly practicing because those are very differing experiences as well so that's all i really, really wanted to say about the topic it's just something or a trend that i've been noticing um what are your thoughts on this do you think that's something that's needed do you think it's something that that's just unnecessary or unadded diversity let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video